What an imagination you must have to determine what the Earth was like 300,000 years ago in remote parts of Germany. Sure, conclusions can be drawn from our pre-existing understanding, but there is also the burning sensation in our intuitive thinking that tells us there was more. How do we know for a fact, for example, that human beings were merely a primitive group of evolving yet intelligently growing beings at this time? Why wouldn't society 300,000 years ago be far more advanced than we ever thought possible? Why do we say we hadn't evolved intelligently in the past? The evidence all over the earth points to the fact that there was a previous setting, a previous existence, and it is not that we were primitive, but we were reset back to a survival period after a great period of cataclysmic cycles from which the modern world emerged. Things do pop up from time to time, anti kathira mechanism, Baghdad batteries. There are excruciatingly rare artifacts from a time when we were educated to believe that these advancements were not even possible. Mechanical wonders and even basic understandings of how to generate electricity were present on the earth not so long ago. These things do show a forgotten understanding of advancements in key disciplines that were lost for another thousand years after these things went out of use. Are these artifacts the lasting remnants of the works of the survivors? It is not incredible to consider, more possible than anything else they have ever thrown our way, but what is incredible is the refusal to even consider that these things that are surviving in a setting that they would have us believe was false, yet they do exist. Back to Germany. 300,000 years ago, men running about Germany hunting animals isn't inconceivable. But in what setting? The things we are told are not impossible, no more impossible than the Great Pyramid being constructed from brute force using pulleys and ropes. The things we are told are designed to be believed but the astonishing rate by which we are beginning to challenge these misunderstandings should also give mainstream ideology great cause for concern and indeed a slow turn towards the thinking resources of the free world is beginning to change minds. The timeline of these understandings is completely lost. Sites like Gobekli Tepe are beginning to show us the true scale of the misdiagnosed timelines and the fact that we have no methods to properly make these diagnostics beyond the range of organic material in the range of carbon dating means we need a game changer in our understanding of the past. The slow process to recover this history will inevitably draw us on a necessary course of understanding the things we have completely forgotten about and the iconic structures like the Great Pyramid are driving us forward in this search of the forgotten things. The wooden spruce hunting stick uncovered in Germany is again relating to an eye-watering timeline from a time that we struggle to even contemplate. Described as a 25-inch throwing stick used during Ice Age times, it is thought to have been used to hunt horses and birds during times of great survival. Experiments show the 25-inch long throwing stick carved from spruce wood could reach maximum speeds of 98 feet, 30 meters per second. German researchers have said the weapon was thrown like a boomerang with one sharp side and one flat side and spun powerfully around a center of gravity. Instead, the rotation helped to maintain a straight, accurate trajectory, which increased the likeliness of striking prey. The professor in charge of the archaeological dig at the Institute of Prehistory and Early History from Tübingen University in Germany was quoted as saying the following. They are effective weapons over different distances, among other things when hunting water birds. Bones of swans and ducks have been well documented from the fine layer where the stick was discovered. He goes on to say that, in addition, it is likely that larger mammals, such as horses that were often hunted on the shores of the lake, were startled and driven in a certain direction with a throwing stick. Researchers uncovered the weapon during an archaeological excavation at the Schuningham Mine in northern Germany. Schuningham has yielded by far the largest and most important record of wooden tools and hunting equipment from the Paleolithic period as it is referred to. A detailed analysis by the researchers showed how the maker of this type of throwing stick used stone tools to cut the branches flush and then smooth the surface. This weapon also had fractures and damage consistent with what they found on similar experimental examples. 
For the first time, researchers say the study provides clear evidence of the function of such a weapon. These people in Northern Europe 300,000 years ago were highly effective hunters with a wide array of wooden weapons that are rarely preserved. The chances of finding Paleolithic artifacts made of wood are normally zero, only thanks to the fabulously good conservation conditions and water-saturated lakeside sediments in Schumingham can we document the evolution of hunting and the varied use of wooden tools. But what do you guys think about this latest research in the discovery of a very ancient artifact? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.